olden days when love letters were handwritten and tucked into a scented envelope, well, times are changing, and now with everybody carrying around cell phones 24-7, texting is the new love note. Seattle relationship coach Michael Fiore is here today with tips on how to finesse a text message into a great love note. Happy Valentine's, Michael. Happy Valentine's Day. This can be done, you this tell us. This can be done. It can so, be done very, very well, yes. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. well, how did you get interested in studying texting to begin with? You know, about a year and a half ago, I noticed a lot of uh, friends of mine, particularly married friends of mine, were constantly complaining about how the intimacy, the romance, and the relationship had kind of gone away. They're working too much. They're constantly trying to get more money, all that kind of thing. And um, I was having a lot of success in my love life with my girlfriend using text messages. I travel a lot for work. I'm very, very busy. She's very, very busy. And so so I remember sitting with one friend in particular, I said, give me your cell phone for a second. I took his cell phone, I typed out a few very, very simple messages, gave it back to him. A second later, the phone starts buzzing like crazy on the table. He looks at it, I look at it again, send another message. A second later, he says, Michael, I can't show you what my girlfriend just sent me. <laughs> But I can tell you that what you're teaching me how to do definitely works. And from there, it kind of expanded like crazy. There's been thousands of people around the world who've used my stuff right now. I get emails every day saying uh, this did amazing things for my relationship. I just think that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. You have three magic text mm -hmm. techniques. Yep. This is not like Brett Favre, ladies and gentlemen. This is a romantic <laughs> thing. I'm just saying. This is about bringing energy into your this relationship. This is it's romance we're talking about. Yes, yes, very um, nice so tell us a little bit about that, what we can learn from it. Sure. So if you go to my site, textotheromanceback.com, uh, you can get a report called Three Magic Texts, which is three very, very simple texts anyone can send right away to really send a really a great spark to your partner today. And the, uh, the simple formula is basically first you send a curiosity text, something along the lines of, I can't stop thinking about dot, dot, dot. That little curiosity there is the important thing. You wait for a response, then you say something you really love about your partner, your eyes, your lips, the way you looked this morning, how great you felt in my arms this morning before we said goodbye. And then after you get a response to that, you send an anticipation text saying something along the lines of, you have no idea how much I love and appreciate you, but I'm going to show you tonight. And you use Wow, that sounds pretty romantic, mm -hmm. doesn't it? And for the guys, the guys that are watching, um, yes, I know it sounds kind of cheesy. Um, it won't be cheesy when you see how she reacts. I no, we're. Mm -hmm. I think we're good with cheesy. We're that sounds pretty cheesy. good, yes. actually. Not che bad cheesy at all. is just fine. Let me show you a picture of Great. our producer Becky and her fiance Colin, and then mm -hmm. I wanted to show you three of the texts that they sent mm -hmm. to each other. Very, very. Oh, there she is. So cute, oh, and really Colin. Cute. And oh, they're really. off, in fact, on a Valentine's week right, right. now. But um, she shared with us three texts that he had sent to her early Great. on in their relationship. The okay. first one just said, morning, pretty lady. That's kind of nice, isn't it? It is. It's wonderful. Just say, hey, beautiful, mm -hmm. in the morning. Text number two he sent was, I can't begin to tell you how awesome I think you are right now. Great. Isn't that pretty nice? Mm -hmm. And then the third one was, I hope you know. romantic texting the first thing I think of are all of the stories in the media about guys getting busted for cheating or you think about sexting and teens getting in trouble for showing literally their bodies or talking trash back and forth mm -hmm. our next guest says that there is a way to use sexting to keep the spark alive in a healthy adult relationship his website actually says it perfectly uh, it's called text the romance back Dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, please welcome relationship coach. This is Michael Fiore. Michael Fiore, everybody. Sure. So you're not talking about dirty messages or this junk you see in the in the uh, you know all over the media and stuff. There's a difference between sexting and texting. Yeah, what, what I, you know those those stories you hear in the media are all about really about people. Uh, having an affair, people going outside their relationship. Right. What, I, what I teach is how to use you know, the same technology, text messages, as a way to bring that spark, bring that intimacy back into your relationship. Because yeah. like, you can be thousands of miles away, you can be on a business trip, and you can just reach into, your, reach into your pocket, get your phone, and let that person know that you're thinking about them. And it's this really private, wonderful little fantasy world for you and your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. What, what I found really interesting mm -hmm. is that, you know, as we hear when you talk about just about any topic, men and women think about and receive text messages in a different way. They respond to texts in a different way. Yeah. What's the difference between a text that a female would respond to and one that would really help a, a, a male 
get excited about sure. texting back. Sure. So men are, uh, we're very visual creatures, right? We tend to respond yeah. to what we see all the time, whereas women are much more about storytelling, about language, about fantasy and things like that. Mm -hmm. So for a woman, I might say, you know, you can text to your man, um, do you remember the smile on my face last night right before you left? Or something uh, like that, right? And he'd be like, oh, because it makes him think of picture. that right away. He pictures that right so away. So if you're a female texting a man, you try and draw a picture for yeah, them. Yeah, a, a lot of very visual language the entire what time. What about vice versa? Vice versa, you want to say something like, to a woman, you would write, you could say, can you imagine how good it's going to feel to wrap my arms around you tonight? And it causes her to imagine. Yeah, exactly. That just worked See? on me, and he's not even mine. <laughs> well, the funny thing, right, so is a lot of guys, when they, when they hear me say that kind of thing, they say, oh, Michael, that's so cheesy, right? And I say, it's cheesy, but the entire audience went, oh. I so, got chills. Yeah. So Works on me, yeah. yeah. It's real, I always tell people to be unapologetically romantic in their texts. You know, yeah. being in love is largely a choice, and this way you can just like you know lay your heart out there. It really is it. love letters yeah. 2.0. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it really yeah. is. All right, so we decided to do a little experiment of of our own on this. Um, Kristen here in the front row. She's here with her boyfriend Johnny. Yeah. Welcome him. <laughs> That he was coming here to talk about their relationship, um, <laughs> but that's not really now. Now you've probably figured out why you're really here, right, Johnny? You've also probably figured out what's been going on. Kristen, why don't you fill in the blanks? Well, what's actually, yeah, don't get mad, but I have been taking Michael's advice, and over the past day or so, I've been using some of his techniques and texting you with cute little things to test it out and spark things up. Were you a little bewildered why you started getting all of these? Messages? No, they were nice. I enjoyed them. I loved them. I, you know, <laughs> Michael, I thank you. You heard? <laughs> We're going to check out some of the texts, and don't worry, Johnny, these are the ones that, you know, we tried to keep it clean. It's daytime. <laughs> Kristen, uh, we, we actually have a little uh, uh, graphic of this so everybody can follow along. Oh. Kristen writes, I can't... <laughs> Kristen's in the pink, Johnny's in the blue. I can't stop thinking about, about what? This weekend. You're what I was looking for my whole life. Exclamation point, can you? So, of course, my job is to blow your mind under the cover. Johnny making promises to keep. Oh, yeah. Kristen, thinking about tomorrow. Johnny, that is so sweet and I'm crazy about you. It's very intense. <laughs> so, one surefire text. It is Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, yes. One surefire text everybody can make right mm -hmm. now if they want to. Okay, here's all you have to do. This is uh, what I call an appreciation text. It's very simple. It works on men. It works on women. It works on really anyone you want to send it to. And all you say is, you have no idea how much I love and appreciate having you in my life, but I'm going to show you tonight, dot, 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 <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> and the smiley face is important. It's important. You gotta have the smiley face. It goes there. I gotta tell you, we have to take a break so that everybody can do their homework. I want everybody texting over this break. Uh, up next, how would you like to have a partner who's faithful for life and greets you always with a kiss? That's what Jared has brought with him today in the animal kingdom. Um, most romantic animals in the whole world up next.